going on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back for another episode review of black ink crew compton this is season one episode seven big bear jail before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever i upload new content y'all i enjoyed this episode it wasn't a whole it wasn't no drama that went on with it it was a bunch of light-hearted good old black ghetto fun time and i enjoyed this episode so hopefully y'all are ready for the review because i'm ready to give it to you so let's get right on up into it before i get into anything listen i want to tell y'all thank you so so much from the bottom of my little ghetto ratchet heart all of the love that i have been getting from y'all the prayers the the messages thank y'all so much because y'all know i've been dealing with these headaches and his migraines and dizzy spells and all this and i've been saying that in a couple of my videos and some so some of y'all have been so sweet to reach out to me and just to give me messages and send me positive vibes positive energy positive prayers auntie show enough appreciated and i thank y'all so much y'all even even been giving me advice on what to do and i've been listening to y'all first of all i'm still drinking my water on the rocks because my head is floating enough I don't need a float no more. And I've been watching what I've been eating as well. I've had to just like completely eliminate a lot of stuff from my regular diet. You know what I'm saying? I've been dreaming of a hamburger. <laughs> Lord knows I've been dreaming of a hamburger. But I'm trying to just like cut out a bunch of stuff because I was girl. When I tell you, your auntie was eating bad, doing bad. You like, girl. Eating like I'm still 20 something years old and I'm not going to be feeling it later on. And trust, I feel like that is something else that has to do with why I've been feeling so sick lately. But I'm kind of getting long winded with this. I just wanted to say thank y'all so much. I'm listening to y'all. I'm taking y'all's advice. I appreciate the prayers. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you so much. You don't have to do that. And you're doing it for me. So please know that it is not going unnoticed or unappreciated. So thank you so, so much. Auntie loves you. Mwah. All right, y'all. So the episode picks up where it left off. They in Big Bear. Barbie ass done went to jail because she done Takashi 6 9 her damn self. Done caught the popos. Told the popos she had to bust in the window to get her stuff. So they done handcuffed her. Took her ass to jail. And y'all... I ain't never been, I've only been arrested one time, okay? And I was in Central Booking for seven hours. I can't imagine getting arrested in a whole nother city that you ain't even from, and you gotta go to that doggone county jail. Ain't no telling what the hell them laws is like over there. But hey, girl, I was right there with Lemire. Lemire was laughing. That was me. I ain't gonna lie. I, I would've been laughing too, like, girl, you got police on yourself and told on yourself and you going to jail, you big dummy? What'd you do that for? Just dumb. But she's going on to jail. You know, Voodoo did not get arrested. Voodoo done went off walking in the damn woods some damn well. We still don't know where the hell she at. Meanwhile, Nessie is in the RV sitting there looking like this. Because she knows she done messed up. You know she done called KP. You ain't nothing but Kyle Pratt's boyfriend. You a little bitch, you a little this, you a little that, you a little, little bit of everything. And so now she didn't have a little bit of time to sober up. So she on the uh, RV looking crazy as hell. Lemire go on there to talk to her, try to be like, you know, you okay? Like, what the hell was all of that? Now she's like, she's afraid that she may have lost her job. She don't know if KP is going to come back from that. Well, look here. You had a lot pent up on your chest, home girl. Not saying everything that you were saying was wrong, but... It was a time and a place for all of that. And you went a little bit overboard with it. And now you looking back like, oh, damn, now I got to apologize for something. Well, that's what happened. Lemire tells her, look here, you don't have to suck it up, swallow your pride, and um, apologize to him like I had to do it. Because you already know Lemire had to do that shit when he went off on him not too long ago. But we all know KP soft. KP going to forgive his ass anyway. I mean, KP, like he forgave her, um, uh, Lemire, he going to forgive her ass too. I'm sorry, y'all know I mean to say that about KP, but if y'all don't watch these uh, seven episodes, y'all already know, KP soft. S O F T S O F T F T T T soft. Okay, he's real soft. So, girl Nessie, just go ahead, suck that shit up, go and apologize to the man, and we're gonna be moving right along from there. Y'all gonna be tattooing somebody else 
about the uh, tattoo shop where they shooting in the front, any dog on way, girl. KP ends up coming on the RV with Alana and Ink Dripping and Tim and says, had y'all Negroes just been patient, I was trying to let y'all know that I had a cabin I was going to take y'all to in the morning any doggone way. He claims he just wanted to see who was going to thug it out. And in the morning, he had planned on going to the cabin. So he ended up going over there, taking everybody to the cabin. And it's a nice-ass cabin. Real nice. He said it was like five, six, seven bedrooms. Every bedroom had its own little shower to it. So they was out there glamping up at the bitch. I would have been out there glamping too. Nessie quiet as a church mouse she just gonna kind of sneak her way on in go on upstairs go hide off in the room and just go to bed because she's too afraid to face kp right now she done got a tail stuck between the legs and now she don't know what the hell to do right so the next morning kp in the kitchen flicking the wrist he in there doing it in the kitchen i ain't mad at kp he was daddy daycare the whole dog on trip taking care of everybody else making sure that they was eating and shit. Alana was um, talking about how her mom is young, how her mom had her young, how they look like sisters, whoop de whoop yada yada. I oh, don't too much care about Alana, y'all. I'm sorry, but I don't. KP is talking to the rest of them. He's like, I've known Barbie since college. We done ran from the pop holes together. We done did a bunch of illegal shit together. So I don't know, one, why she called the police, and two, why she turned up like that. But hey, that's your home, girl. At the same time, KP, you shouldn't have let the shit go as far as it did. The minute she threw that first damn tent in that fire, you should have been like, whoa, slow down, little mama, okay? You on a trip, you want to act like that? Go ahead, get your shit, get on this RV and get on, or get the hell on way off you got to go. But no, you let it drag out as long as it did, so you just as much as fault as she is. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. Let me know what y'all think about that. So it's the next morning for Voodoo Doll. She waking up hungover like a mofo. She says she had to wait outside for hours for the cab to come to take her to the hotel. When she wakes up, she gets a message from Nessie telling her that she needs to bail Barbie out of jail. Now look here. Voodoo ain't got no jail experience. You the one got experience with penitentiary in jail and all that. Once you locked up for seven days, can't you call her and try to get her bailed out? Voodoo don't know what the hell to do. Voodoo like, well, shit. Well, let me call and see where I need to pick her up at. She calls Barbie on Barbie's phone like Barbie finna answer. She's like, Barbie, um, ooh, hey girl, hey. Um, I guess you in jail, you're not answering, but um, shit girl, I'm on my way, so don't leave, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, mm bye. She goes down there to the jail, goes inside the jail, the little asshole cop that's behind there gonna tell her whatever information you wanna know. You need to go outside and use the payphone. Ain't you in there, the you police? You ain't got no computer you can look on there and let me know something? See, a lot of times, let me see, I got my own personal issues with some police officers, the way that they act, you know what I'm saying? But he ain't have to be no asshole like that. Obviously, you see the girl's airhead and she didn't know what the hell to do. So she go outside to the payphone. Like she said, she a 90s baby. She don't know what the hell a payphone is. She looking at it all crazy, turning it all upside down. She don't know what to do with it. Then she finally gets a hold to the jail. Hello, um, District 1 Precinct. How can I help you? She's like, um, hi, hello, is this jail? Yes, um, I'm looking for my friend Barbie, um, Erica Thompson. Come to find out, Erica done got bailed out 6 o'clock in the morning by her folk and them. So she ain't even call nobody, ain't text nobody, ain't send nobody, no smoke signal, nothing. To let nobody know that she done got bailed out of jail. So Voodoo like, well, damn, girl. You could at least sent the bitch a, mess a message on a pigeon a song and you ain't said nothing to nobody well damn everybody leaving the house to go on like this little teen bonding you know excursion or whatever right Nessie come on now to the car walking past like ain't not a damn thing happened and of course I, I you know I don't like Tim Teddy but I was kind of with Tim Teddy at that moment he was like okay well damn look who decided to come out and join the rest of us she walks on over finna get in the car. KP kind of stops and like, uh, what's, what's good, little mom? She like, uh, I'm trying to be a part of the team. I just want to be a part of the team. He like, all right, I'm gonna let it slide for right now. 
we got to have talk later. You know what I'm saying, Lok? Y'all know how KP be when he talk. He just, he's so damn gangster with it. They get down there. They end up going uh down to the pond or the pool or the creek, lake, or river, whatever the hell it is, girl. They go out there and go kayaking. Now, when they get there, Lemire ass is on jet skis. He's out there having the time of his life. Now, look here. Lemire made this episode so much fun. Watching him have so much fun, the joy on his face. He looked like a big ass kid. And it was just fun to see him having fun. He said this was his last hoorah before he's on daddy mode, 24, 45, you know what I'm saying? And he just he just made the episode so much fun. They out there kayaking, they're having teams, Nessie and um Lemire on one team. They end up taking everybody else out. So Lemire ends up pulling Tim to the side and basically, you know, kind of apologizing him, like, look here, it's better if we on the same team than us beefing with one another. I got so much more respect from Lemire in that goddamn moment. Not only did you man up and apologize to KP, you seen that Tim Teddy was too pussy to come and say something to you. So you went over there to him as a man and you cleared the air. And I, I appreciate you for that, Lemire. Appreciate you, boy. So it's real quiet and chill in the house. Alana goes to get some shots for Lemire and Nessie because they're on their they're laying in the bed in their rooms on their phone. Soon as she brings the shots, baby, it goes from goddamn day to night. They turn up in these nice white folks' cabin house. Uh, they start having water fights. Water all on the damn pool table. You know you're not supposed to get no damn water on no pool table. Just being black. Goddamn Lemire jumping from the balcony down on the couch. Do you jump in your damn mama couch? You bring your ass over here to my house and jump on my couch, see if I don't put my foot knee deep in your ass. Your mama raised you better than that, boy. You know better than that. Boy, I'm turning to tell auntie, when I seen him jump from the damn balcony to that damn couch, I said, boy, couldn't be, could not be auntie Mo around there. I'd have pulled out somebody's goddamn belt and whooped his goddamn ass. You know better than that. Your mom and daddy didn't raise you like that. Child, he getting my pressure up. Lord, Voodoo Doll shows up and then the party gets turned up even more. Finally, Nessie does pull KP to the side and she apologizes to him for the way she was turning up and calling him you ain't nothing but Kyla Pratt's boyfriend, which we all think still is funny as hell. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know who the hell he was. But oh, Kyle, oh, you Kyla Pratt on man. Okay, yeah, cool. I like you. You know what I'm saying? Ink Drippin' does a tattoo on Alana. 222 two, two on her wrist. She said to me, right place, right time. Child Alana. Mm. Her and Ink dripping. It's some kind of little romance that's brewing in between them. Later on, we see they end up going shopping at some like, some one of them, some little crazy clothing store where you can buy like all kind of crazy clothes. And some kind of stores I like to go into. Spencer's kind of clothes. If y'all got Spencer's in like in the malls and stuff in Hot Topic, that's the kind of store that it looked like. One of the little fun ass stores. I like going to them stores. So I ended up going shopping. She got a tig old bitties just a swaying here and there. Child, she was doing too doggone much, but it's a little romance brewing between them. It was cute. So, of course, when Nessie does pull KP to the side, of course, he forgives her because, like I say, KP soft. S-O-F-T-T-T-T-T-T, soft. He is soft as hell. So, of course, he was going to forgive her. I'm going to let this slide this time. You know what I'm saying? But we don't have to understand and get some boundaries. You know what I'm saying, love? We're going to have to understand that I'm the boss around here. You can't be disrespecting the boss. Nigga, shut up. Sit your big scoop head ass down somewhere and shut up. He ends up forgiving her, as we all knew. She on contract bench one anyway. Y'all, this next scene I thought was so damn cute, but I thought it was wrong as hell. So Lemire ends up coming home. Danielle is surprising him with the gender reveal. This big head half a dumb went and found out the gender of the baby without him. Now, I don't know if it's just me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But I think that was kind of wrong. Like, how you just gonna go find out what the sex is of the baby without the baby daddy? Like, especially if he's there. You know how 
excited he is for this baby. You see how involved he's in. He want to be there every step of the way. It be different. You got some old deadbeat ass nigga that don't give a damn about you, baby, or nothing else that got nothing to do with you. A fuck motherfuckers that look like you. You got somebody that's there that's trying to ride with you till the wheels fall off. And you're going to go find out the gender without him that's wrong as hell. But, anyways, she has a surprise little gender reveal thing for him at the house. It's a bunch of balloons. And, of course, he posts the balloons. If it's pink, it's a girl. Blue, it's a boy. He, We all know Lemire wants a little boy. I want a little boy for him, too. He gets a pop in the balloons. Boop. Lo and behold, it's pink every doggone where he's having a little girl. I thought it was funny as hell how he tried to pop the rest of the doggone balloons to see if it was a mistake to see if some blue was going to pop out somewhere. He hit that big old balloon in the middle and it's just pink confetti flew everywhere. So surprise, they're having a little girl. I seen Lemire's Instagram and I seen some um, baby shower pictures that he posted and they had some balloons that spelled summer out and they were in pink. So I don't know if that's what they're naming their baby girl summer but congratulations to danielle and lemire on your little baby girl summer i bet she's gonna be cute as hell because as much as danielle get on my nerves the girl is beautiful she's gorgeous i think she's a model and lemire ain't too damn bad looking himself so they gonna have a beautiful baby girl so blessings to them i pray everything does turn out really girl really good with their baby girl but regardless of how it turns out shit you see how lemire lemire gonna be lemire the peppy he gonna be there riding for that baby. That baby need a wheelchair. That nigga gonna be that baby wheelchair. He gonna strap some wheels to his own ass and push that baby around. And I'm here for it. I can't wait to see it, y'all. <laughs> So everybody get into the shop. They waiting on Tim ass to get there. Tim running late because he said he needed to rest. Those two days in Big Bear wore your boy out. So he finally gets there to the shop, unlocks the shop. They get in there and they nothing in that bitch. I mean, it's Keep all up in that hoe. Ain't not a now another chair, not a now another table, not a now another ink, needle, poster, stencil, pen, pencil, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, hams, turkey, you name it. It was all gone. Everybody looking like I want that, I want that. Well, Tim, what? I know your black ass has something to do with this. What, what the hell is that thing got? Tim like, shit, I don't know. I kind of... Tim probably has something to do with that shit. Tim KP probably done went and bought a whole new goddamn shop. And so they're trying to make us think that he in Compton, we get robbed every day around this bitch something. Yeah, I don't know, but the episode ended from there. I like this episode. Like I said, it wasn't no drama that went on with it. It was a bunch of fun, just good old black time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it was anything that I missed, Drop it down below and let me know. If you watch this episode, drop it down and let me, let me know what y'all think about Danielle going and finding out the gender of her baby and leaving Lemire out. Like, I like Lemire now. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of why I'm like, girl, you wrong for that. But please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala!